Good evening everyone, I am Gemma, your host tonight. How has everyone been this week? My goodness, it's, we're nearly out of June, it's gone so quickly for me. Um, here on the Gold Coast, it's getting a little bit chilly. Um, not cold, but the nights are cooler and the mornings are just a little bit too cold for me to get out of bed too early. So I found it was a little bit of a struggle this morning, but the beautiful sunshine is shining and I am like a lizard, you know, I'm attracted to the sun and I like to sit out in the sun and just bathe, you know, I just it's my happy place and I know that we all must have happy places where we like to go just to get clarity or focused or, you know, just to get our inner peace and my happy place is sitting out in the sun. So I have been doing a lot of that this week. Um, but, yeah, it just really recharges my soul and, you know, you might have a happy place where it might be by the water, might be out in your garden, um, it might be out, you know, among nature or anywhere but it's really nice to take some time out during the day to recharge and to just to you know it just it really lights up your soul so I thought maybe we'll do something different this week instead of me just talking about myself because you know some weeks my weeks are busy other times my weeks are slow and sometimes I just don't have just don't know what to talk about so I thought I'd shuffle some cards and for the viewers that are watching tonight um, if you could think um, of a number between one and three and I will draw three cards and just see what messages come through for you so so between choose either number one two or three um, and I will draw a card so first card First card I have drawn is intuition. So for the people that have chosen number one, whoops, whoops, I, I know I'm really bad with sense of direction. <laughs> um, so it's really about going within. Um, you know, we all have intuition. It's that gut feeling that we just know that things are right, you know, and it's the one thing that I've learned about um, intuition is to really trust what you feel Trust what you know. Um, if you have a feeling that, you know, go with that feeling. Don't doubt because I find that when I doubt, um, doubt my intuition, um, it just, you know, I end up saying to myself, oh, I should have done that. I knew I should have done that. So we all have that gut intuition. So just follow, you know, and what I'm getting for viewers that chose number one is to, you know, really write down the messages that you're receiving. Um, you know, it might be signs that you're noticing or, you know, it just could be uh, just something that, you know, you feel so strongly about. Don't doubt. Move forward with that. And, you know, instead of saying no, say yes to things. So that's what I'm getting for you as a with number one. So our next card for number two um i have got okay gratitude this is one of my favorite cards it's gorgeous um gratitude and i know that um the more gratitude you have in the light in your life the more you are present um i wake up every morning and i list three things that i'm grateful for and it just really you really appreciate for the you appreciate the things and the people that you have in your life and just goes to show that you don't need enough, you don't need a lot, sorry, in your life to be happy. Um, so the messages I've got coming through for you is to continue, you know, look at the question, look at a question like what brings joy into your life? You know, it could be, you know, just hanging out with friends, connecting with nature. It could be the simplest things like cooking your favourite meal, um, Look at all the things that bring joy into your life and do more of it and appreciate what you do have and what you can do with, with you know, it, with the things that we do have in our life. I know that I'm grateful for my eyes, for example, and I know without my eyes I wouldn't be able to see the world. Um, I wouldn't be able to experience the things to know what I'm seeing. So I'm really grateful that when I wake up in the morning and I have my eyes that take in everything. 
So, you know, it just brings more meaning to life and more love and a more appreciation to the beauty that's right in front of us. Um, and it really just, you know, it, so yes, just really even to meditate, you know, take a few, minute, a few minutes out of your day to really connect um, with the love with your soul and appreciate. Um, so our next card for number three, let me see. Oh, you know, it's interesting. I keep hearing boundaries are really important for number three. I know I haven't drawn the card, but I know that without healthy boundaries put in place, um, I find that people like to walk over you. Um, you know, it's okay to say no. Um, and you don't need to explain, you know, the reasons for saying no. Um, so, yeah, this is all about relationships. Um, and I just feel that it's really important to, you know, have these boundaries in place with um, with families, with friends, so that you know where you stand and they know where you stand. You know, it's nice to be, um, to have that respect um, for one another. So the card that I've pulled is uh, family time. So boundaries are very important around the ones that we love and it just, um, it's just, yeah, I'm just, oh, gosh, I just have, I'm getting also around number three is around money for certain people as well. So just be careful of what you, how much you give and how much, just notice how much comes back to you. All righty, so thank you for choosing your numbers between one and three. Uh, we're going to connect to some callers. Um, we have Jeffrey in Schenectady. <laughs> Uh, New York, USA. Hello, Jeffrey. How are you tonight? I'm doing very well. How are you? Very well, thank you. How can I help you? Yeah. Um, well, well that's, uh, that's just like one small problem I could. Like every once in a while you're cut in and out. So I could probably hear a, like, a little bit of what you were saying. But, um, yeah, um, I just want to know if you can, um, like, take, uh, take some rings or, like, some someone that passed away or something. Yep, definitely can. Um, what was that? Uh, you would like a, a message from a loved one that's passed? Is that what you just said? Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, um, I actually, as you were talking, I have a lady around you and she has dark hair, um, short dark hair. Does this resonate with a family member of yours that have passed away with dark hair? A lady um, of also having, okay, let me just see. I have this, this lady that's in front of me. She's holding a, a like, I keep seeing a cross, whether she was, you know, she was very, a Sorry, a very religious lady. Does this resonate with a family member with you? She keeps showing me a cross. Um, I was like, uh, you were just breaking up. What? What was that again? I could, I couldn't really hear you. Uh, okay, sorry. Um, I keep seeing this lady that I have in front of me. She's showing me a cross. Was she? Uh, she's letting me know that she was very religious, or she believed a lot believed a lot in this she had a lot of belief in people um she's showing me a cross a, you know a cross like jesus on the cross i don't know it's some kind of cross she's showing me this um very religious lady does this resonate with a family member that's passed away who is it that you're asking um, I have a female, I have a lady around me at the moment and she's showing me um, a cross, like a, a religious cross. She's also got a bag, like a, a big basket of, um, I don't know, she was, she was, she, she has a big heart. She had, she had a lot, a lot of love to give to others. She shared a lot of her life. She gave a lot. She was the kind of lady that would go out of her way to, um, give to others that were 
um, that had less than what she had. She's letting me know that she even helped the homeless people, people that didn't have a, um, enough food to eat, like she helped people. Does this resonate with a lady in your um, family, a family member that had passed? Yeah, I, uh, I'm really sorry. I was having a hard time trying to catch all that, what you were saying. Um, yep. It sounds like you said um, pop, like in other words, for father or something like that. Um, yes. And then I heard about picture in the jacket. I couldn't really make out a lot of what you were saying, and I'm kind of, and I was trying to make everything just really cordant. Okay, okay. Um, what I keep, okay. So the, okay, so it's I can hear you very clearly, um, and basically what you know, this lo lovely lady that I have around me, she's letting me know that she had a. Um, it may have been a car accident that she passed over with. Uh, before she passed over, she had a car accident. I keep hearing the sound of a horn. Um, did you, yeah, so I just have this lovely lady around me. She's very, she has a big heart and she gave a lot of her time to help others. Um, the message that she, that she has to bring through to you is to, um, to really look out for all the blue butterflies around you, whether you are, whether you have noticed a lot of blue butterflies around you lately. I think we may have lost Jeffrey. Hello, Jeffrey. Yeah, yeah, I'm I don't, I don't know if you stopped talking or if it was just like a. Like, once again, I couldn't hear you or whatever. I know that you did, said that you uh, stopped talking. Because, like I said, it, I couldn't hardly hear anything that, that, that you're talking about. I mean, I little bits and pieces, but I, I, to be honest, I can't, I can't really make anything else. Okay. Um... Well, at the moment, that's all I... Okay, I just have this beautiful person in the room, and... It may, it may be someone that you're not resonating with straight away, um, but um, what I do have a message that's coming through for you is to um, whether you're in a, a big, whether you're at a crossroads in your life at the moment. I see that you have two big decisions um, that two big two big decisions to make um, in regards to your work life. Um, um, are you currently working two jobs at the moment or wanting, not two jobs, but are you currently in, I don't know how I'm trying to say this, are you currently in a position in your life where you have two opportunities coming your way in regards to work? It's like I have two, you have to, a big decision to make in regards to work. What I'm seeing is it's, you know, there's two job offerings coming your way around work. Yeah, I, I hope so. Because right now, I'm now worse because I got free uh, follow. So right now, um, I'm just trying to wait for my job to open back up so then I can get back to work. Yeah, yeah, and I see that things are going to things are moving forward for you. So it's looking, it's looking like um, what I'm seeing is that it's going to be a positive positive outcome for you. I do see that work isn't too far away. I keep getting the number three. So the next three weeks um, is really important for you. Um, I'm also, oh, I have like, I've just seen a yellow car come through. So whether you've got some issues with traveling or how to get to work or something going on with your car, there's something going on around your travel arrangements. Has that been, has that affected um, your work life or the way you get to work. Yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah, my uh, mom's car, it, uh, it, it kind of has a problem to it. She has to, uh, tomorrow in the morning, she has to take it to the dealership to get work, yeah. to get checked up on and everything like that. 
and my stepdad's car, the muffler is pretty much completely off of it, and he needs to get it towed to the mechanics to, uh, I don't know, probably get a whole new muffler put, put back on there or something like that. So, uh, but I mean, I can walk to work, work um, that, that's no problem, because it's like yeah. a hop, skip, and a jump. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I just see that that's going on in your life at the moment. But I'm also, um, do you actually have a birthday coming up as well? I see flowers around you or some kind of anniversary or flowers. There's flowers around you at the moment. Have you got a birthday coming up? No, my birthday's not for a while, but um, I have a best friend. Uh, his birthday is July 4th. His birthday is okay, coming so up. Yeah, so I see that. That's exciting times for you and your friends as well. So I see lots of happy memories, um, memories being rec create, created because um, I just keep seeing um, a camera. So whether your mate or yourself like to take lots of photos of like a timeline of your life, I just see that a camera is involved, um, just taking making memories together, more memories. Yeah, yeah. I always like to uh, <clears throat> can take pictures of everything. Well, I won't say everything, but things that stick out to me. Um, yeah, not pretty much. I won't say all the time, but watching. I won't say what a lot either. But like at different points during like the days or the weeks or whatever the case might be. Uh, sometimes I feel the need to take a selfie sometimes, and yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah I like so, that. Of... Go ahead, I'm sorry. Definitely. No, no, keep on doing it. You know, it's you know, it shows the part of the world that a lot of people don't get to see, but it's amazing what you see through your eyes. You've got this really creative spark about you as well. So, you know, continue to to do what you're doing because it brings a lot of joy and happiness into your life. Yeah, yeah, I keep on trying to do that and try keep on trying to um, help my mom the best I can at one art because uh, right now that's not really that much going on with us and we're just trying to make uh, make uh, make deal until we can find a find another place because we're looking to um, move hopefully in the next two years, but. Yeah, can only tell. Yeah, that's a lot. Definitely, you know, a lot, a lot. things, things they um, yeah, are looking. It just feels like where you're living at the moment. It feels very claustrophobic. Like there's everything's living on top of one another. It just feels very where the where the location where you live. It just feels like everything's on top of one another. Like there's no space. You know, I keep seeing that the ideal location would be somewhere where the sun shines and where you can actually enjoy your space without having to share and ha without having to share it with others. Right, right. That's, 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 that's one of the reasons, yeah. Um, yeah. Just because when, when I used to live in Pennsylvania, we, had, we were living in a, a one family home. And, yeah, we still rent it, but it was our home. It was like a two-story I'm sorry. Oh, I, I, I had a little stuff in my throat. Um, it was a two two story home, you know, and um, that's where I grew up at, you know. But then when we moved here, it just been one duplex after another. So yeah, yeah. So we lived in well, just... front of the house. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's okay. I've, I've only got seven minutes left. I really have to get on to my next caller. But what I'm seeing for you also is continue the happy times, the family time with your mum um, and celebrating life with your friends that um, are, that are important to you. Um, just continue what you're doing. And I do see that work isn't too far away for you. So within the next three weeks to really um, reach out for that new opportunity that's coming your way. Um, it was lovely to connect with you tonight and I wish you all the very best. Oh, 
Okay, I was having a little trouble making you out right there. I call oh, right sorry. This, okay, there must be some kind of interference again. I'm just letting you know that um, maybe to rewatch um, the live video again so we can hear all the messages that I gave to you. Um, and I need to let I need to end this call because I have another caller waiting for me. Okay, so we have Corey uh, from California, USA. Hello, Corey. How are you tonight? I'm well. How are you? Very well, thank you. You've got beautiful energy around you. I keep seeing the color purple around you, which lets me know that you're very intuitive. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, how can I help you tonight? Um, so I just, I, I, I received a text today from an ex saying that he doesn't love me and I'm not, I'm not the one for him and he's not the one for me. And I don't feel like that is the truth. I feel like he is my soulmate, my twin flame. And I just want to make sure that I'm not feeling this and making a big mistake by not moving forward with my life and waiting. Yeah, yeah. Um, what I'm seeing around you is, do you have another um, male friend around you that you're very much connected to, like a very close male friend, apart from your ex? Uh-huh. Because um, I'm feeling the okay. male friend around you that's your friend, um, there's a very strong connection there with him. There's a good connection? Yeah, a very good connection. So am I okay with waiting for him to return and give him some space? Um, yeah, definitely. Just Okay, so, so your ex, okay, so you've got your ex that's obviously said that he doesn't want to be with you, and but I'm also seeing another male friend beside you. Do you have another male friend apart from your ex that is around you? Um. I, well, I have my ex-husband, but I don't want my ex-husband back. No, 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 no. Um, so it must, it, it, what I'm saying, okay. So I've got two males around you. So there's one that's closest to you, like a really best friend. Is this your, is this your recent partner that said that he doesn't want to be with you? Yes, yes. Yeah, because that's who I see. Uh, that's who I see you being with. Like the connection there is very strong. It's like he's put up a, a wall recently. Um, is there communication, like, is he not one to open up his feelings a lot? Like, prefers to yeah, guess, he, open up his feelings through texts but not by his voice? Yes, exactly. Like, he just shut down and literally just doesn't want to communicate. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Um, I'm also... Um, if he suffers some kind of depression as well, like his mood swings seem to be up and down because my head really hurts, whether he's an overthinker yes. as well. Yeah, and yes. I think he overthinks yes. a lot of, yeah, he overthinks a lot and he has a lot, of, and which puts a lot of fear into, um, puts a lot of fear into his heart. Um, I just think that what I'm seeing is that just to take it, which I know that, you know, you're waiting, you know, you're very patient um, and what I see is reconnecting again, like being, you know, organized, you know, as somewhere that you can reconnect together and to really talk about mm -hmm. it in person rather than over texts and over messages, just to get a really uh -huh. feel for what's going on. I feel that, you know, I see you both being together. Um, I feel that the connection is really strong, but it's his fears and doubts that stopping him from, um, embracing, okay. you know, this connection that you both share. Okay. Um, I, he doesn't live in the same city I live in, so yeah. any, anything you can recommend on how I can see him? Yeah, and that's what I thought. I, th I had a feeling there was some kind of, there was a reason why um, you haven't been able to do this in person. Um, I keep seeing the number three around you as well, so, you know, whether that in three weeks or something on the third, next month on the third, there's something around the number three. And I see that being, okay. um, oh, what I'm also seeing as well, do you do FaceTime? Because I keep seeing a computer screen. Do you FaceTime yes. one another? Even yes. if you can just see. We, use, we yes. use to FaceTime all the time. Yeah. So maybe, you know, or, uh, 
organize a catch up through FaceTime. I feel that's really important that you get to see him. Um, Corey, I only have 60 seconds, but I wish you all the best with um, this connection, but really um, connect with him face to face so you can really see him. Okay. All right. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you. Enjoy your night. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Um, bye. Thank you, A1R Psychic Radio, for um, listening um, tonight. Um, have a great weekend. <laughs> uh, 30 seconds, I always, yes. Okay, have a great weekend, and I look forward to bringing through messages next week. <laughs>